It's very good to be back. Thank you very much for having me. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a little while because I had some injuries and um, these things just take a little while uh, to recover from, basically. And then that on top of Corona, um, it's been a while. Uh, I was supposed to compete in Dubai, but my knee was still giving me a little bit of trouble and. You know, I did the practice day uh, and, and tried to make it work, but I just wasn't quite ready. So, but I feel pretty good for here. It's uh, yeah, it's exciting, and it's the first time I've you know won the won, won the bib uh, for a long time. So it's it's cool. You say it right. It is hard, and it is very tiring. And you know, injuries they don't just affect you physically you know they affect you mentally and like you say you do spend a lot of time in the gym uh, and getting that feeling of being taken back all those stages you know and, and then you obviously see everybody doing so well and you feel like you're missing out all those emotions it's rubbish and it sucks this last year for me has been hard or a little bit over a year you see people around and, and, and everybody's dealing with something. Honestly, for me, I, I love this so much. You know, I, I know that I still have more to give in the competitions. So I feel like even when I do feel tired, it's just not my time to finish just yet. You know, I, I, got, I got more in me uh, and I owe myself that. Everything's hard. My job's definitely uh, better than most jobs. <laughs> even when I'm bored and hurt, you know? <laughs> The competition scene has definitely evolved. Um, I got to be honest, I, I, I'm so grateful and I feel very lucky that I managed to experience what it was like in the past. Like, I, I feel like I've, you know, rubbed shoulders with the greats, you know, of, of, of free skiing and, and I'm so grateful for that. And I took so much from that and I had so much respect for them and, and, and how that whole scene worked. You know, like you say, we were partying every single night like it was a completely different world you definitely wouldn't call anyone an athlete back then um you know <laughs> seeing the likes of candide and and, and tanner and yoon and tj and colby is it was just amazing for me because you, you know like anybody you get to meet your heroes but then being in the position i am now and and, and going through the transition into you know the olympics taking slope style and, and half pipe and big air into it and, and national teams becoming a normal term. You know, like we never had coaches. No one would have been able to tell you what a national team even was because that didn't even exist. The individuals, the skiers and the snowboarders, I love them. They're amazing people that we've got the same passion, probably more passion, honestly. Like these guys fight harder to be involved in this scene than anybody has ever done you know I've got so much respect for everybody um, these days it's, it's unbelievable and the talent is speaks for itself it's incredible but yeah I think that definitely the competitions of are the driving force and and how the competition wants to run structures how the sport is but I try my best to be positive positive.